Our brains operate in two distinct modes, System 1, which is fast, automatic, and unconscious, and System 2, which is deliberate and conscious but requires significant effort. Hello everyone, in today's video we will be creating this motion graphic reels in Premiere Pro. So if you want to create the same in CapCut, I will leave the tutorial link in the description. So let's get started. First we need to create our background, so I will just select this rectangle tool and create a shape layer like this. I will simply just zoom it right here if you want to change the color of this layer you can simply go to fill and change the color and click ok now we need to bring in our brain png and i will simply scale it up like this now we need to cut this brain into two parts so i will just select this pen tool and make a random mask like this like this and simply just this now you can also adjust the mask from here now I, I will just make a duplicate of this layer and click invert so it will be like this now we can adjust the mask from here if you want now let's animate it so if we want to animate I will just animate the right one so I will bring this up and bring this down so you will animate this so add a position keyframe at the start and move a few frames this will be our final position and at the start bring it down like this so it will look like something this so it's a bit slow also and if you want we need to adjust the keyframes as well so i will just bring this keyframe close and then select both keyframes and go on ease in so it will give us this animation like this and i will just animate it this too so add this is our final keyframe and at the start bring it down as well now we need to see like this and we need to make sure this comes fast and this comes slow so i will just make the keyframe here so these will appear like this now I will just select these both two and then is in like this. Now I will render and show you. So our animation is looking like this. Now we need to create a new layer. So at the final position, I will just click this and hide one. This one like this. Now I will just simply click here and create a new shape layer like this and i will go here and change its color to green like this so its color will be like this and i will bring this right here where our brain is here now we need to animate it once this is animated i will place this a bit here and and hide this one then i will just move this upwards and bring this down so this appears behind and i will also make sure this goes up as well and these two will be down like this so this is a bit off and i will just simply crop and place it like this so for now it's looking like this now we need to animate this one so i will add a position keyframe and move this forward as our final position and then bring this down like this so i will render it so this is our final animation like this you can just move these keyframes close and then right click and simply ease in them also you can choose these graphs as well if you want to adjust these you can just simply drag this and drag this one so it will be looking like this now once this is done we will create this text and then simply these ones as well so first i will type in this text and then this arrow so simply just bring this down 
once this is animated we will just bring it here and these i will just press m on my keyboard without selecting any layer to mark this position like this now i will just simply make a text and i will type in system one this is good so i will just select this and go in fill and i will change this color to this so it matches the wipe now i will just simply scale it down as well and place it right here like this now it's looking good as you can see system one you can type in many as many words as you want i will just simply select these two and nest them then or i will just scale them down like this to make space for the words as well and then i will bring this text down i will copy this text and simply drag this to the other side select the text change its color to color picker and i will make this color okay now if we need to place them accordingly and choose fonts so you can choose as uh, any font you want i will just simply go with this as i am using this as an example now we need to add an animated arrow so i will just bring in this arrow right click on this unlink to remove the audio now just bring this down go to facts panel and search for ultra key and i will just simply drag and drop on this then choose this like this now our arrow is animating like this so we need to place it accordingly so i will just make sure to bring it here then rotate it like this so it faces the brain png and then simply bring this right here like this now we need to make sure to do the same to the other layer so i will just hold alt and copy the arrow now simply just use position key properties to move it there now the face is here so if we rotate it like this it will not look good so we need to change it flip it so i will go in effects and search for flip and choose this flip horizontal and apply it to the this layer the upper arrow one like this now if we see we can just simply select this one and then go in position properties and rotate it so like this like this and then position it like this now this is done our first animations are done now we need to add in the other texts so i will just make sure to make all these into a nested sequence so i can get more space right here we need to create a text layer and then in the text section i will press windows and dot key at the same time then in the symbols section i will select this one right here and i will just show this is good system one or i will just select first then go to fill and change the color to this right here and click ok again now i need to select this one and just simply scale it up and place it like this now if we, we need to just make its copies so we will just make it one copy and then simply drag it downwards like this then again bring this upwards and again make a copy and then simply drag this downwards as well so we will place it like this now we need to bring these here so we need to again just copy this one 
and again go to this and select flip like this and i will just bring this right here again i will just simply select this one and go to color picker and choose this color now simply just place it right here like this now what we need to do is just make three more copies like this one so the color will remain same and just simply add our text like this you can use premiere composer right here if you don't have you can download it from free and then text presets then simply just bring this to one layer i will just make sure to this and thus bring this here to the layer like this this will give us this animation so i will just double click on this or you can just copy one text like this fast and i will just replace this text fast and again i will go here and then simply change my font and font size also i need to choose a color so i will go in color fill and i will drop a tool and just select this color click ok then i need to like this then i need to just position this right here where our was first arrow is located like this and then our final animation will be like this we could just bring this forward as our background so this is looking great so we'll just need to copy and bring this text right here and then here so that's all for today if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video until then take care and bye